Thanks to Lafayette's fastest growing family friendly fest, you don't need to book a ticket to Germany to feel like you're in Deutschland. Beer, music, and a little schnitzel goes a long way at this Saturday's German Fest. And here to tell us more is Father Tim Alkire. Thank you for being here and good morning. Great to be here. Thank so you. So let's talk about German Fest. Definitely not the first year for it. It's growing quickly. Tell us about how it's just taken off. That's right. This is our ninth year, and uh, we were really surprised last year. Over 13,000 people we were able to host from uh, all over Lafayette and the state of Indiana, even out of state. And so it's a great time for everybody involved. And it's got a little bit of German heritage, obviously, with the beer and the music. And obviously, you're, you're in, dressed in the traditional garb here. But it's a little something for everybody, too. That's right. There's something for everybody. In fact, we have uh, German food. We have uh, uh, things for the kids. We have also tacos. Uh, so we're, we're kind of multicultural there. The, the parish originally is German-founded. and. Um, uh, German background, so it's time for us to celebrate our heritage as well. How nice is it to get everybody from all over Lafayette, different backgrounds, different walks of life, to come together in this spirit of just celebrating the summer and each other's company? It's a lot of fun. You know, we really feel like we're, um, we're, we're good neighbors and we're welcoming a lot of people. And, you know, we've got a Polish mayor, and we welcome the Polish mayor every year to our German parish to, uh, <laughs> to kick off the fest and open the first uh, uh, keg of beer and tell us whether the beer is worthy for the fest, and that's how we kick it off every year. And how about it also really benefits the church, though, is this festival. Tell us about how, how much help it really provides to you guys. It's an incredible help for us. It's our one fundraiser of the year. We have a, a raffle every year, a $10,000 raffle, and the sale of those tickets helps the parish immensely. We're a parish from the beginning of immigrants that continues to today. We have many needs. And so just people coming down and uh, participating is a help to the parish as well. Now, people know about the food, they know the music and the beer, of course, but there are a few changes this year with your expansion and then also a little VIP section as well. Tell us about that. That's right. Every year we seem to expand a little bit more, a little more room for people to spread out. And uh, then this year we have a VIP section. People don't want to stand in line for their brats or whatever. They can go to the VIP tent. It's $30 to get in. You have your food brought to you, your beer brought to you, and even air-conditioned restrooms. You can't beat that. What's the best part of it for you? About nine years you've been going on this now. What's the one thing you really look forward to all year in German Fest? Do you know what I really like is I get out there in the streets and I meet people. I get to move, um, you know, like one foot, I meet somebody else. Right. People I haven't seen for a, a year come back, and it's a great time to welcome people and uh, just be good host to them. Uh, kind of share a little bit of who we are and they share with us too so it's really great and german fest is this saturday tell us what time we need to show up this saturday we're going to kick off about five o'clock right there at the main stage the uh, opening ceremony with the mayor at 5 30 and at 10 o'clock we have the ten thousand dollar raffle drawing and raffle tickets available there all right looking forward to it father tim alkire thanks for being here this morning great to be here